Okay, we haven't done a Thinking Tools video for a while, so here we are again. Uh, it's uh, my name's Anthony, once more. And uh, look, what I want to talk about today was just how you can use one particular item, one particular tool, for lots of different things. Now, uh, those of you who have seen these videos before will know this is uh, the uh, Sudoku. Uh, but you can actually use it for other stuff. So what we're going to uh, introduce today is just the game of, now it's called Strategic Tic-Tac-Toe. It actually has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine boards uh, here. Okay, so there's nine different three by three boards. And we'll give you an idea about how this is going to work. Okay, let's say I'm red. I don't care about the numbers. Um, all I care about, I'm putting red here. Okay, so basically the way it's going to work is that your opponent has to play in the same board, and there's, you know, of these nine boards, the same board as represented by the position of your move. So your move is middle row, middle column. So the board they must play on is the middle board, middle row, middle column. They've got to play somewhere on this board. Okay, so they can move anywhere. They're going to move there. Okay, we're going to go somewhere. Now, they have moved in the top right position. The board I must play on is the top right board. And here we go, top right board. I've got to play somewhere in here. Okay, now, if I go here, it would make my opponent play on the same board as me. If I go here, it makes them play on this board over here. Top left. They must play in a top left board. Okay. If they go here, once again, I've got to play in the middle middle board, which I'm very happy to do. I can actually make two in a row there. Uh, they will have to play in the bottom right board. So they're moving down here somewhere. I suppose they could go there, but they probably won't want to, because if they do, they'll let me play on that board. And they prefer not to do that. So, they're going down here in this corner. They will make me play on the same board as them. Where do I want them to play? Well, let's put them somewhere where they haven't played before. This corner here, which means they end up going somewhere on this board. Uh, bottom left. Okay, anywhere on the bottom left board. They won't go here. Maybe they'll choose here, a board that hasn't been used before. Okay. Um, anywhere on this board would be fine. So, I might choose here. No, I won't. That's going to give another thing on this board. Uh, look, really, take them to a board they don't want to be on. There's only one, two, three boards left now that are empty. If they go in here, we're still going to force to go, aren't they? Um, okay, they're going to be forced to go into this board, so they could go anywhere in here. Uh, they won't go in the middle because it's going to give me a chance to go there. Um, they might go uh, where would they like to go? Probably somewhere I don't want to go here or here, so maybe they'll go here. So, this is the way it's moving at the moment. Um, I won't go here because I don't want them to block me here. Uh, but, anyway. Um, I'm going... Uh, I'll go here, let's them go there. Maybe not. Let's take the board that isn't used so far. There they go. Um, they're now forced to go somewhere in this board. Places they don't want to go. <laughs> as usual here. But... Um, what could we do? Uh, every board now has something on there. They, they don't have gone in the middle, but they can go pretty well anywhere else, couldn't they, really? Because it wouldn't really matter that much. So where am I going to go? Well, I've got to go somewhere on here. Uh, so I won't pick the middle, because that, that's the block me here. Once again, this middle board really is counting. So this is really how it's going to go. We'll sort of like hurry it up a little bit. I've gone there. They can go um, in here. They'd like to form um, two there, but because they've gone here, it means that I can go, go here in the same 
uh, in the middle board. So I've now gone there to block them. Now things are moving because that puts them into this board. But they can't go in the middle. They won't. Well, they can, but they're going to lose that section there. Uh, so onward, like this, they could end up um, here. That lets me go maybe here, um, or even here for that matter. Um, that puts them. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, maybe here. And they can go there. I probably would be inclined to block them in that situation, won't I? So uh, I will go there, which puts them here. Um, forces me to move in this board here again. Um, and by blocking that, that's let white go here, doesn't it? Let them play on this board. Um, so they've got this. I'm going to hurry things up a little bit here. Uh, that means that I am now moving um, somewhere here. Now the situation is, I, if I go here, let's just try this as an example. If I go here, that talks about this board here. This board's already done. This board's used up. This has been, this has got a victory for white. So that means that white could now go anywhere that they wish. Okay? White can go anywhere they want now because they can't go on this board because well, it's been used up. So they can pick anywhere they want and they might decide that they would like um, to go in here. I suppose they can go here to block that one. That would be crucial, I suppose. Uh, but, you know, that's one key point. So there they go, they've got decided to go there. Red have decided to go, they've got to go on this board, so they've decided to go here. Um, white, where will they decide to go? They have to go, which board do they have to go in? They've got to go in this board. Well, they can actually block that there, can't they, if they do that? Um, and the corresponding board uh, would be back over here, which lets them block here. And they've got to go, now that wasn't necessarily green stuff. White, red will now be moving in this board. I may as well go there because that one's been blocked. Uh, white will now, let's move things along quickly I suppose. Um, white can go somewhere on this board. Well they might decide to go there so they've actually got a couple of options. Oh no, hang on, they're going to get between the right there, can they? So there they go, they've gone there. Uh, so white now have this board and this board. Now, white can win the game if they can get this board. But red will be able to move into somewhere in here next. Now, if red go here, it lets white do anything, so they won't do that. Where would, where would red, red like white to go? Well, they'd like to go on, go on this board. Um, white won't go here, this board's been used. Middle is now out of bounds, pretty well for everyone. Uh, and we would like, which one? Okay, white won't mind red going in. Um, hang on, no, not there. Whoops, there they go. Okay, what's that? That was there. Mistake by white. Let's talk about this one here. This board's been done. Red can go anywhere they like. Where will red go? Red will probably, I'd suggest, go here. Uh, but the problem with that, of course, is going to be it lets white go anywhere they want, so they can't, so red won't go there. So the reason is, red can, white can now go anywhere they want, because it's, this board is now out of action. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, white can go anywhere they want. They want to go here. They've now won this game, this game, this game. They've formed a line. Forming a line is victory. White have won. Okay, all right. So, um, this came to you from Thinking Tools, and uh, that's... Uh, thinkingtools.com.au just, uh, just click there and see how you go uh, and yeah the whole point of this again uh, really is just that you can actually use any of these items for, for lots of different things okay see you next time